You are literally covered with bacteria at this very second. Inside, outside, every nook and cranny of your body is a veritable cesspool of bacteria, viruses, and fungus. And that's okay. It's nothing to worry about, and I'm going to explain that to you in this video. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about what's inside your body and what's covering the outside of your body and why you shouldn't worry about it. Your skin is home to millions, hundreds of millions of different bacteria, viruses, and fungus each and every day of your life. Your hands alone have over 32 different colonies of bacteria at any given moment of up to 150 different species of bacteria. Your gut contains two to four pounds of bacteria on each and every day, any given day, two to four pounds of bacteria in your gut right now as we speak, and that's okay. If I could televangelically reach my hand through your screen and pull out all the microbes in your body, not only would that not be a good thing, it would be a bad thing. You would actually have a much weaker immune system and be much more likely to serious infections and other diseases. You see, our ancestors for millions of years have been living directly in the yucky muck and were covered with bacteria, viruses, and fungus just like you and I are right now. And that's okay. We've actually been covered inside and out with these bacteria for so many millions of years that we've learned to use them as part of our immune system. They actually are your friends, not your enemies. So here are some guidelines that you can use to actually cultivate and treat your friends that are both on your skin and inside your body. So wash your hands with a pure soap that's not antimicrobial in any way. If you have handled fresh meat or if your hands are visibly soiled, otherwise don't wash your hands. People who wash their hands routinely are actually selecting for more aggressive bacteria. So stop doing that unless you work in healthcare or some other industry where you need to wash your hands multiple times a day. Washing your hands multiple times a day is not ancestrally appropriate and is not something that you should be doing in the shower or in the bath. Do not lather, rinse, and repeat. Use a very pure and non-antimicrobial soap. Wash your pits and bits and use a very tiny portion of shampoo to wash your hair one time. Uh, there is no need to wash the rest of the surface areas of your body unless they're visibly soiled. So stop wasting soap on your, your legs and your arms and your back and your tummy unless they're visibly soiled. You're actually selecting for more aggressive bacteria when you do that. Never ever should you use an antimicrobial soap, toothpaste, mouthwash, or anything else that goes on your body or inside your body that is antimicrobial in nature. You are again selecting for more aggressive bacteria and other microbes. I'll give you an analogy. If you lived in a suburban neighborhood and everybody had a couple of cats and a couple of dogs and you looked outside your window one day and thought, you know, there's so many cats and dogs around here, they could bite me or they could bite one of my kids. We need to get rid of all these cats and dogs. And you did that. You, you approached the HOA and they eliminated all the cats and dogs from all the yards of your neighborhood. What you would actually do is you would encourage coyotes, wolves, raccoons, uh, possums, and other varmints to come into your neighborhood because the cats and dogs, while not bothering anybody, were actually keeping the wild animals away from all the yards in your neighborhood. So don't jump the gun and think, oh, I'm gonna kill all these bacteria on my hands. Because what you're doing in reality is you're inviting the coyotes and the wolves and the raccoons to come on in. So please, even if you're currently germaphobic, I put some research down below in a couple of articles you can read, stop being a germaphobe. Those germs are your friends. They've been your friends for millions of years. Relax, calm down, stop trying to make your environment and indeed your body a sterile place because that's not healthy. If you're sterile, you're getting sick or you are sick already. Stop that. 
let your bacteria, your viruses, your fungus that have been inhabiting you and your ancestors for millions of years, leave them alone. Let them do their job. They will protect you from the coyotes and the wolves. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.